Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be all about popular standalone books that I think are worth the hype. I feel like on booktube we push a lot of series, they're everywhere, and they can be a lot of commitment. So I wanted to talk about standalone that you can, you know, just read one and be done with it. And these are the ones that are popular. I'm also going to be doing another video about underrated ones. This is my second time doing it, so I will be linking the past ones in the description box for you to check out. But yes, these are all books that I think are definitely worth the hype. If you've seen any booktube video, literally ever, you've definitely heard of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I went into it completely blind, not knowing exactly what it was, but it's technically kind of historical fiction, kinda. You're following the story of this old Hollywood star who for the first time ever uh, tells her life story through her seven husbands. She also lets everyone know finally who her one true love was and I really wasn't expecting this. I ended up really really enjoying it, could not put it down. I even like shed a tear which I'm not a big crier but this story definitely touched me a lot. I tried another book by the author which I'll put it on the screen, I can't remember the title right now but it wasn't as good as this one. I feel like this one is definitely the hard hitting one. I think a lot of people would enjoy this. Like even though if it's not normally your cup of tea, these kind of genres like historical romance, I would still give this one a shot. I absolutely loved it. I'm hoping this will become a movie because I would absolutely binge watch it. Two, and yes, if you were still hesitating, still not sure, definitely worth the hype. Definitely read it, make your mom read it. You will both love it. The next one is getting more and more popular. I feel like a couple years ago probably would have been in the underrated version, but the author Matt Hag has been getting more and more hype, deservingly so. Um, the Humans by him was my first read. This is an adult sci-fi, but it's a very easy sci-fi. It's not, you know, intense in space, very accessible. You're following this alien sent to Earth kind of as a punishment. His mission is to kill a person that discover a math equation that we're not ready for, so he has to kill them and then anyone that knows. But he knows nothing about humans, so he has to adapt fairly fast. Um, the beginning is actually kind of funny because of it, but it becomes more and more philosophical towards the end because, you know, what it is to be human is a bit more complex than what he finds out in the beginning. And I found the messages very important, very interesting. The characters are attaching. There's a dog in here, which... There's an addition with a dog, I always mention it because mine has this weird thing that we have in the middle of our faces. And yes, just a really kind of feel good book, pretty wholesome. Overall, Matt Hag, an author that I personally even have to read more from. I've read three books so far and I have like three more on my shelf, so it's gonna happen. But yes, uh, if you were looking for new standalone books, definitely recommend him as an author. He's popular and definitely worth the hype. Let's go with a YA book. Uh, I tend to find them kind of hit and miss, not gonna lie, but this one, uh, that was a tough read. A Monster Calls by Patrick Niss. I love his writing. Again, a very difficult topic. You're following the main character who has to deal with uh, grief. I'm gonna keep it vague just in case people don't really know what it is about because I feel like it's a pretty short book. It has gorgeous illustrations, by the way. Like, so beautiful. Also became a movie, which I haven't watched, but I'm sure it's as good. Essentially, this teenage boy has to come to terms with a situation and a monster basically comes and uh, tells him three different stories and it's helping him. And very difficult, like I was saying, topic, I did actually cry reading this too, which it doesn't sound like it now, but I don't cry very easily <laughs> when I read a book. But yes, also a really fantastic one. Uh, why? So I feel like everyone can read this and enjoy it. And this story will definitely stick with me forever. The next one might be a little bit more controversial. I feel like not everyone loves it, but I definitely do. Uh, the Invisible Life of Edzileri by V.E. Schwab, which oh, I feel like people either love it or hate it. I ended up loving it. The writing was just perfect in my opinion. You're following this woman who is being forced to marry someone which she doesn't want to and she escapes and then makes a deal basically with the devil and he tricks her, obviously, and she's wanting to have her freedom and what he does is that he gives her immortality but nobody can remember her. So she has to deal with that through 300 years until our current time. And it's a lot more complicated than that, but overall, again, messages about uh, what it is to live, what it is to be loved and remembered. And I'm gonna keep it vague, but ended up really enjoying it. Again, the writing style. I feel like this is the best work of the author. And I personally think it is absolutely worth the hype. Something a bit different from everything else I've been talking about. Um, 
The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. You can see, depending on the edition that you have, the UK edition just says The Seven Deaths and the US edition says The Seven and a Half Deaths, probably because they didn't want people to mix it with this book. They both came out the same year, it was all over the place. I personally ended up enjoying both of them. This one, it's 100% due to the premise. I'm someone, if you have a really good premise, I will read the book and I'll kind of excuse some stuff as long as the premise is really interesting and just push through and finish it. In this case, it's kind of complicated, but it's kind of a murder mystery with a sci-fi twist to it. You're following this main character and you're really thrown into the story, so definitely give yourself like a first 100 pages to figure out what's going on. But they are also thrown into the story and they end up in this big house where there's a bunch of guests and you don't really know what happens, but Evelyn Hardcastle dies every night at 11 midnight, something like that. And the main character has to figure out who did it, what's going on, what happened. But every day they wake up in a different body for like eight different days. They have to try and figure out what happened. The twist is that they don't know who their other bodies are. So they don't know who's trying to help them and who's against them. And they just, it's very complicated. <laughs> so you can imagine how difficult it is for them to piece things together. And I really enjoyed it. There are definitely a few trigger warnings, so definitely look those up. But I ended up being very, very intrigued. It is a debut author, so their first work. So there are a few weaknesses, including the ending. To be fair, I think it's a very difficult book to end, but I overall very much enjoyed it. Definitely think it is worth the hype. Might not be for everyone, but if you are intrigued, definitely pick it up. And it's one book, it's a standalone. The next book I feel like is pretty underrated on book two, but it does have over 100,000 reviews on Goodreads. So I'm including it in this version to make you read it. I just did and wow, uh, Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. All I knew is that the author wrote sci-fi books that's it. And I had heard great things about them, but that they were difficult to read. And yeah. In this one, you're following this black woman who uh, lives in, D19, in 1976 and she is sent back in the 1800s. She doesn't know why to begin with. And the first time she arrives there and she sees this kid, uh, white kid, drowning in the river and she saves him. And then she keeps being sent back for longer and longer periods, which as a black woman in the South, 1800, racism, slavery are things that she has to deal with and the author, her writing just makes everything feel so real. Definitely a lot of trigger warnings, definitely some really tough scenes to read that just, they're just really hard hitting. So even though the book is really, really hard to read, the characters being uh, very, feeling really realistic and the mix of kind of historical fiction, uh, slavery topic with sci-fi, makes it really, really interesting and definitely something to check out because again, I feel like I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it on booktube, uh, but it's not an unknown book. So I'm promoting it here. Definitely pick it up if you were intrigued because it's definitely worth the hype. It will definitely stick with me forever. Last but not least for this video, The Long Walk by Stephen King. Technically it was written under a pen name, Richard Bachman. This is my favorite book by him. To be honest, I've given up on him. <laughs> I feel like I don't really end up enjoying any of his work except this one. I feel like it's the one that made me feel the most. You're following a character who for some reason decides to participate into the long walk. A hundred teenage boys just walk until there's only one last one standing and he gets to choose one wish and wish for whatever they want. So whenever I say one last one standing, I truly mean it. Essentially, if you're not following the pace and you get you know, a few warnings, and if you don't keep up, you're shot in front of everyone. I have never felt as exhausted as whenever I was reading this book. Your legs will literally hurt reading this. It's a fairly quick read. My edition is pretty small, so it's like almost 400 pages, but it's a quick read and you won't be able to put down. Very traumatizing. The ending kind of sucked, as it always does with Stephen King, but I still think it is worth a read. So these are more standalone books that I think are worth the hype. Like I mentioned earlier, I will be linking down below the past versions and I will be uploading very soon a underrated version also. Thumbs up, subscribe. Please let me know in the comment section if you have read any of them and what you personally thought about them. And I will be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one very soon. Bye.